Hey everyone, I'm here with this 2020 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. As you can see, it has the accessory desert air intake, or as everybody outside the walls of Toyota calls it, a snorkel installed. I want to take it through the car wash now, but in order to take one of these through the car wash, you actually have to uninstall part of the snorkel, uh, just the top part right here. So I thought I'd take you through how you go about doing that and then take a closer look at this desert snorkel air intake. So here it is, it says TRD on the side there and then it says TRD on the grate here where the air actually comes in. As you can see, there are two screws, one on the front, one on the back. They are designed to be loosened with your hand, and uh, I loosened them the other day with a flathead screwdriver. Tough to get a good grip on them. There, kind of got that one to budge. This one, yeah. So the black plastic, I think, expands in the heat, and it's about three in the afternoon right now, so I'm purposely showing you the struggle here to show that you pretty much need a flathead screwdriver and they've actually included one in this loaner here. So we'll just go about things the easy way. Take this thing off with a flathead. You can probably hand turn. Yeah, there we go. So the screws are, it's kind of clunky. Like it was loose and now it's tight again. And it doesn't seat, or at least I haven't been able to get it to seat really nicely. You can see that space right there. You'd think getting that space to be flush would have been part of the design process, but you can hardly tell until it comes time to actually get hands on with this thing. So there's one screw, maybe the other. So it comes out really easily until the threads catch on the outer part of the snorkel and then it gets tight again. Okay, so both screws are out and then I think, yeah, pretty simple. All right, now we'll run this thing through the car wash and then come back and take a closer look at the snorkel as we reinstall that piece. Thanks. Okay, so now that we're clean, uh, for the most part, we can take a closer look at this snorkel. So the first thing I want to do is test whether it can be installed backwards. So there's a fair amount of debate out there whether the proper way to point a snorkel is, well, this way, as we've all seen them, or actually this way. And let's see if, yeah, yeah it goes on pretty much just as easily. It's like it was made to be installed either way. So there's a look at it facing backwards. So closer look at this piece, you've got a grate here that will protect, uh, I guess, any bigger rocks from getting in. TRD logo in the grate there. As I showed before, there's a TRD logo down here. Let's take a closer look at this area right here. So it, it is a pretty high quality part. Thick plastic, it's shiny. Uh, I imagine it might fade after a couple years, but you can usually restore this kind of plastic pretty easily. There's a nice foam liner from about here, all the way down here, all the way here, and then down around a good portion of the bottom, and then, yeah, it even starts up again right around here. So really well secured. It is a factory part from Toyota. So it's 
certainly not rattling around. And then up here, the way they install this is pretty clever. There's just one mount and it actually goes in underneath the uh, roof channel here. So you just peel this rubber strip out. I think probably cut a little part of it out. Little bracket goes in there. I imagine it screws down into the roof and then that supports the top part of your snorkel. And then the bottom, I imagine it's attached on the inside as well. Let's see what it looks like in there. Where is the hood release? Right here. So here's a look inside the engine bay. So this one also has a washable reusable TRD performance air filter. So here you go, I just popped off the air box cover and you can see the TRD performance air filter. Ah, and then just below that, that looks like the entrance point for the snorkel. So it comes down, goes into the fender, right about there, comes through it to a degree, and then enters the air box right here. So the hole, it's right about there. Anyway, it's really hot under here. I think you get the picture. I do like the snorkel. One other little Easter egg. I'm not sure if this would come with every Tacoma that has a snorkel or just on these press loaners. I bet this sticker's included in the box with the snorkel. It says, this vehicle is equipped with a TRD desert air intake. Do not use an automatic car wash. Using an automatic car wash may damage the TRD desert air intake. So, a couple things there. They make a point to call it a TRD desert air intake twice on this sticker. And uh, second takeaway is, yeah, if you go through a car wash without removing that top part, there's a good chance you'll damage the actual snorkel. So let's go ahead and reattach this. I think we'll do it in the manner in which you typically see it with the intake part facing forward. Grab my screws here. It's pretty easy to hand tighten it. Let's see if we can do this all by hand. If I owned one of these, I'd probably just keep a flathead screwdriver in the glove box for any time I felt the desire to go through a car wash. Because, yeah. See, that's about as far as I can get it by hand. Let's see how the other one goes. So this one goes in pretty easily. Lock it down there. Yeah, I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. It still rattles. Oh yeah, well, this needs to be tighter maybe. Oh yeah, that needed to be much tighter. So yeah, you're gonna want a flathead screwdriver if you're removing this and reinstalling it. And yeah, I think that's, I think you get the picture. Pretty easy to put on and take off. So real quick here, here is how the desert air intake appears on the window sticker. So it is considered an option and you can see it costs $725. And then you can also see that the TRD air filter cost $90. So to wrap up our discussion on the Toyota TRD Desert Air Intake, uh, there are a lot of misconceptions out there about snorkels, and that is the reason that Toyota has so adamantly branded this thing as the Desert Air Intake. And that's probably a more accurate name for it. Uh, what a snorkel does, the main benefit of a snorkel, isn't necessarily added water fording capability. Um, you put a snorkel on your truck or SUV, it's not suddenly going to have greater water fording capability because all the snorkel does is protect one, only one of the many vulnerable components underneath your hood from water. Uh, it keeps the engine from pulling in water through the air intake assuming it's sealed correctly and everything. That doesn't protect your ECU, that doesn't protect all the electronics behind the dashboard, that doesn't protect your differentials uh, from taking on water. And just because you have a snorkel doesn't mean that uh, you're totally protected in a water crossing. The main benefit of a snorkel really is the fact that it raises up the vehicle's air intake. Uh, I'm not sure where the stock air intake is on this vehicle, but I know uh, like on the 200 series Toyota Land Cruiser, for example, the air intake is right inside of the front passenger wheel well. The air intake is down here actually. So putting a snorkel on moves the air intake from here all the way up to here. 
And generally, if you're driving along in a convoy or if you're just on a dusty road by yourself, there's a lot of dust and dirt that gets thrown around in these wheel wells. Uh, the air the vehicle is breathing when the air intake is down there isn't going to be very clean. So putting a snorkel on the vehicle raises up that air intake and can theoretically prolong the life of your engine because it'll then be breathing cleaner, uh, cooler air. The thing about a snorkel is that it's really, really difficult to quantify the benefits of it. Uh, it you can't really measure the performance increase from a snorkel. Uh, I just kind of think of them more as something that looks cool and at least theoretically maybe maybe marginally increases the margin for error uh, when it comes to off-roading. So that's why this thing is called the desert air intake uh, because Toyota doesn't want to at all imply to buyers that you can take these things underwater all of a sudden. Uh, the Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison is another vehicle that supposedly offers a factory snorkel. But funny thing about that vehicle is uh, all the marketing materials for the ZR2 Bison feature the snorkel. But I went on the launch event for the ZR2 Bison and sure enough, not one of the vehicles, there were like 10 bisons there at the launch for, for journalists to drive. Not one of them had the snorkel. And on top of that, uh, I heard that not one of the ZR2 bisons in the press fleet has the snorkel either. And uh, the word there was that Chevrolet was, again, afraid that some journalist would see or hear snorkel and think that the vehicle could all of a sudden drive through four feet of water and then total the vehicle by attempting to do that when really no factory consumer grade vehicle can handle that much water. So anyway, hopefully that uh, clears up maybe some of the misconceptions about snorkels. I really like this one. Uh, it's $725. It's an accessory slash kind of treated as an option on the TRD Pro model. But uh, in theory, you could buy this snorkel and put it on any Tacoma, uh, any what 2016 or newer model year Tacoma that you wanted uh, because it just fits the fender in the roof and uh, goes right in to the air intake inside the engine bay there. So it's a cool part. Honestly, it's not real functional, but if I were buying a Tacoma TRD Pro, I would kind of want the snorkel because it looks really cool. Uh, and it definitely makes the vehicle stand out in a parking lot, which is kind of funny. You just look for the vehicle with the snorkel to find where you park. So I like it a lot. It's a fun part. I like to see that uh, an OEM is kind of embracing the aftermarket theme lately uh, with regard to all these cool off-road features. If I were buying one of these trucks, whether or not it's worth $725, yeah, I'd probably get it. Thanks for watching.